Hello everybody, it's the um, 28th of January, can you believe it's the 28th of January 2022 already? Um, this year is already starting to fly by, perhaps it's just my age, but uh, yeah, almost out of January. The nights are starting to draw out, um, the mornings are lightening early, it's, uh, well not early, but earlier, and all in all, it's starting to feel like we're heading towards repotting season, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, quite a sharp frost this morning, had to scrape the car, and uh, forecast is for another frost again tonight. But I just want to do a bit of work on this uh, hornbeam. I've already um, just spent about half an hour stripping all the old leaves off it. Uh, I always say that um, they look like a young tree when they're holding on to their leaves. Um, and just, just the fact that I've now stripped off all that foliage um, makes this tree look more, more mature. And um, that's always good. You don't want a young looking tree if you can avoid it. I always say part of bonsai is um, illusion and uh, yeah, creating that illusion that you've got a young tree uh, an old tree rather than a young tree even when you've got a young tree so what am I going to do well I'm going to have to tackle this sacrifice branch which um, if I bring it around you can possibly see I kind of wired into place this is actually grafted at the back here um, let's see if I can move the camera in you can see there is a bit of a big old ugly graft but uh, that can be taken care of down the line. Okay, it's a bit of a gloomy day, but um, hopefully you can see what I mean. The branch um, was bent here. This is the wire that bent it, which has actually grown into that branch. Um, if I can pull it out. There we go. So, um, I then wired the branch in this direction. Um, you can see there's a bit of an unsightly bulge where it is grafted into the main trunk. Um, later in the summer, I will remove uh, this piece, but I want to be absolutely certain that it, this branch is growing and growing well before I do. So, And then over the years, this bulge can be carved out a little bit. Um, and you won't even know it's there, and as it's at the back of the trunk, um, you know, you're barely going to notice it. In order to keep this branch uh, growing and growing well, um, I wired it up and uh, hooked it to this branch. And that wire is actually cutting quite badly in places, but it doesn't matter uh, because this part is only a sacrifice branch and I have to make a decision as to whether I keep this branch as is um, growing longer and longer and getting thicker and thicker which is probably the quickest way to fatten this branch up um, obviously it being one of the lower branches on this tree um, I want it to thicken in proportion to these others but I think what I want to do is to prune it back um, so that as well as getting thicker eventually I will get some taper just as these branches um, start thick and taper towards the end I, I would like um, that on this branch as well so what I'm going to do I have a fat juicy bud just there so I'm going to cut it back to there like so. Now I might even use this bud if it breaks um, successfully and that way I'll get even better taper but I'll have to let that grow out some and then I can wire it into position possibly even at the end of this coming summer. 
but basically that's what I want to do with that. Um, I'm going to leave this branch on as well, which is completely pointing in the wrong direction. It's pointing downwards and backwards, but that's okay because it'll again help fatten this part of the trunk. So that's that branch taken care of. There's not an awful lot of work to be done with this tree. There's a couple of obvious things like this branch, which is coming out um, and has two pieces, one going straight up and one going back across the trunk. So I'm just going to eliminate those pieces, um, but I'm going to leave this piece that's coming over um, because I think it'll add some extra texture to the to the branch. Um, I'm going to shorten a couple of these pieces and I'm going to put a piece of wire on there, I think, just to bring that down. I'm going to take off this piece that I don't like, um, just because I don't like it, which just shorten that back. Um, just because I don't like it may not seem like a reason, but Another thing I often say is bonsai is art, and I may not know art, but I know what I like, is an old saying, and uh, you know, I have to look at these trees on my bench, and so sometimes you might disagree with what I've done. Um, I always say, I have to look at these trees every day, you only have to look at them once in a blue moon if you click on a video, so you know, they're my trees, they're going to be done my way. Although I'm always happy if you want to comment below, if you have suggestions, I have some very clever people watch my videos who do make suggestions and I do listen to them sometimes. Yeah. Because I don't know everything, I just do what pleases me and what I think is best for my trees. And I've often said um, this is not a how to channel as such. Um, this is more how I do it than how you should do it. But if you get something from it, that's great also. Okay, so that's that branch taken care of, more or less. I'm going to take off that piece that's going downwards. Um, I'm actually going to remove that whole piece that was growing across the back branch. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way round. A bit of wire here, a little bit of trimming there, and uh, eventually I should have a tree that I'm pleased with. This little branch is so thin, I'm not even going to have to go all the way back to find an anchor point. The wire will do what I want it to do, just as is, and I just want that branch to come around and up a little bit. That branch isn't doing what I've asked it to do because I said it would. Ain't that just typical? Bonsai, worse than your kids. They'll always show you up as well. Okay, so try that again on this branch. I just want to move that in that direction slightly. That's better. Okay, so a bit of a snip, a bit of a snip. And uh, going to snip that there, that will break in this direction. Dead piece. Mm. Take off that piece that's growing up. In favour of one going out. And uh, the piece in the back there can go. And uh, an odd piece there. So that's better. Let's just tidy that up. Tidy up. 
this one not happy with that piece there that piece and I'll put a piece of wire on this piece I'm trying to mend the wire not the, the branch which is tricky sometimes when it's some very fine stuff like that but that's better that just fills in this little gap okay back to the front again and uh, work my way up the tree Okay, so there's another tree almost done. Um, I'm not happy with this apex. Um, in fact, I think I want it to come a little bit taller. I'm going to lose this portion of this branch and I'm going to take out that top section entirely and that allows this new piece grow up as a new apex um, to replace it yeah I think that looks better to me at least um, you can always let me know what you think in the comments okay so we'll give you a quick 360 and as always is the case I spot a piece I should have wired Hmm. Let's do that quickly. I'll probably find more later. Um, often the case. Now, I like that piece like so, and then I can bring that back up actually do this piece as well
That's better. Okay, so let's start the twirl again. Quick 360. And this branch will need a lot more development, but it's on its way. Here's a quick shot with the drinks can, just to give you an idea of the scale of this tree if you haven't seen it before. There you have it. Do the YouTube like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And uh, Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please look after yourselves. Stay safe, everybody.